3pm. Oh, thank you, Kate. Best of luck with that. Now, you might jo know Joseph Fiennes for his role as Commander Fred Waterford in his hit series, The Handmaid's Tale. I can never say that properly, but <laughs> hey-ho. Uh, but his latest role couldn't be more different. No, he's playing football manager of Gareth Southgate in a brand new show hit to hit the West End called Dear England. And he's here now to tell us more. Um, you play... I was just saying to you, you play Gareth Southgate and here you don't look anything like him. But when you see you on that stage, you have got a look at Gareth about you. It's, it, it's the it's, weirdest thing. Yeah, it's all down to the waistcoat. It's I the think. waistcoat, yeah, isn't it? Is. <laughs> I put that on and some lights. But, um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a joy to play. What I think is um, he is, for me, a hero. And I've really got to love Gareth and the journey that he's been on. And our play, which is written by James Graham, our brilliant, prolific playwright, He's produced this gripping telling of a story that looks and examines both our national psyche through football and the beautiful game. And it's a very, very funny, beautifully produced and directed production that is visceral, muscular, laugh out loud funny, but looks at the, the pain and the loss and the struggle that Gareth has gone through since 2019, taking on an epic job to Today, really. So, if somebody weren't a football fan, would it appeal to people that weren't too much into their football? You know, the extraordinary thing is, and I've been in this game for quite a long time, 30 years now, doing theatre, and I've never seen such a diverse, brilliant audience of all ages, all background. A lot of them have never been to the theatre before because they, they're coming to see the team, Southgate, the players they know, they love, they wear their shirts. Sometimes I see people with waistcoats as well. So we're getting young audiences that would never normally go to the theatre. That's partly to do with That's the National, so which is, has this great programme with Football Beyond Borders that brings in for free people who never get to the theatre. So the National Theatre is now seeing a demographic they've never seen before. And the audience, which is this final equation to all of our work, has just um, loved and embraced the show in a way that I've never seen before. So I'm really excited to be able to take this production with an amazing company to the West End, and it'll run from October the 9th, I believe, to January the 13th. There are tickets there for £20 in the West End, so a family of four could come for 100 quid, yeah. see a top West End show. and that, the, So there's great initi initiatives to get young uh, uh, audiences that wouldn't ordinarily go to the theatre in. And they went on sale today at 10 a.m. So That's you right. can get a on ticket sale. right get now. Get there quick. Yeah. Get those tickets. <laughs> How's it going though? Because obviously you've been doing it for quite a while. Have you got any pre-show rituals that I need to know about? What do you What do you do before you go on stage? There are some rituals I keep to myself. I don't do want to you? divulge. Yeah, I do. Are I you think, quite superstitious? Yeah, I think actors somewhere we are, and I imagine players are as well. There's all these sort of little sort of rituals that I. Do and you do every single show? Every single show, and it's really to get into that space um, and to sort of inhabit what this character, and in many ways, Gareth, I see as a great classic character in the realm of Shakespeare. You wouldn't think it, and it's, it's unlikely in a way that he would be such a classic character, but there's this pathway of almost self-inflicted redemption from 96, losing the penalty, I the remember pain it. and the trauma yeah. that he went through, and you've got to think, they're just young men, some of them are 18, going through unimaginable sort of turmoil that's foisted upon them. It's like you've got the country on yeah. your shoulders exactly. when that moment, that little walk, exactly. that moment to take the penalty. I actually remember it. And I remember he used to play for Aston Villa, actually. He was a big fan. How far back do we go in the story, well, we on go, his story? We go back to a moment in 96 of that great sad occasion to really the, the incredible journey that he goes on working through that struggle to become a manager, taking on possibly one of the most difficult jobs in the country, along with being a prime minister. Who'd have thought that someone going through that could then take on that mantle and then become one of the great managers we've ever known? And I think it's a lot to do with the incredible constitution of the man, but also bringing in a gentle reformation into the England team that we haven't seen before uh, and dealing with male toxicity. I mean, our play deals with mental struggle, male mental health, uh, racism. It deals with a whole load of chapters that I think we've struggled and now grown from. And I think the team now today is a unique team. And um, it's about winning deep. And you win deep when you're not burdened by 
crippling expectations. We have this expectation since 96 to win the cup. But yeah. if, you look at, if you look at the analytics, we, um, we failed in, you know, 74 didn't qualify, 78 didn't qualify, then we came 8th and 9th, 6th, 7th, 13th. 26. But I don't see it as a failure because I feel like it brings the country together. I love when the football's on because everyone's going out, watching the football, we're all united. I remember watching the, the Women's World Cup yeah. in the gym and everyone was watching that penalty uh, that they just took and I was just like, this is, it brings people together. It brings people together, but there has been moments when a penalty miss has caused a lot of negative feedback yeah. to those poor players. And I think what we've learned is, and I think that's through Southgate and through social media, is understanding how these players are and those players connecting with us as spectators and being humanised. And I think it's a really, it goes a long way yeah. to understanding what they go through and, and what they're doing for us in the nation. But it does bring people together in the most wonderful way, but it can bring about a lot of suffering. And interestingly, yeah, I just learned this this week, the Greek word for football match is, what? is agonis, which means agony for us. Oh, and I think that's brilliant, isn't it? That we're, so, it's, is that where Dear England come from, from that famous letter by Sa Gareth Southgate? Exactly. Sake? So that came out of, really, a, a moment of great suffering for the team that Gareth saw. And um, he wrote this wonderful thing that's online, and our uh, play is really about that, which is really asking to, the nation to kind of respect the players and respect that what matters to them um, and that to unite as a country and accept loss, that the result is not the big thing. The big thing, as you said earlier, is bringing people together, but it's how we conduct ourselves in that unification which is key and I think he's done an amazing job in doing that. Josie Fines, don't you speak so eloquently? You can tell oh, he's really? in a clear. to you all day long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. so lovely. Is that a message for be quiet? Let me get... No. Not at no. all. <laughs> no, we, we want more. But listen, <laughs> tickets are on sale now. They went on sale at 10am uh, for the West End run. You're going to be in that. Yes, it's going to be at I Prince am. Edward, is yes, that right? Yes, please come. As I say, £20 tickets, I mean, they start from 20 quid. And um, there's great initiatives. Bring you, wear your football shirts, wear your waistcoats, did, whatever it is. Did we see any of your football skills in this show? You know, the extraordinary thing is, <laughs> think of what, no. what football skills are. Really, no. I've I'm a manager, I don't how play football. Kick, how many kicky up hits can you do? <laughs> well, you know what? Our crew and our group, and we've got an amazing group of uh, actors. Um, Gina McKee is also in the in production, amazing actress. But all the young guys, they do keep you up. They've gone up to 100. Oh, Stop brilliant. It. And I keep betting money and I lose the money. So I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, They're an amazing goodness. bunch. Aww. Very talented. But no football's actually in the show. The great thing is... It's not Theater. about football, it's really, not about is it? Football. Yeah. There's more to it. Yeah. There's more depth. Exactly. Exactly. A little bit like you, Josie. Exactly. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> well, Josie Fines, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank we cannot you. wait. We're going to come pleasure. and see it. Please. Yeah. please we come. will, we will. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.